today I wanted to talk to you about submission. And I was thinking about it because this is actually not something that I talk about a lot. But I was talking with a client and she was asking me about it. She was saying, Keisha, you know, as Christian women, what does it really mean when, you know, there's that Bible verse that says, wives submit to your husbands? What does that mean? Is it possible to be an independent woman, to believe that women can do anything, to have feminist ideas, and to still be in a place of submitting to your husband? What does that even look like? And I wanted to tell her that yes, that is totally possible. And I did tell her that, but I want to tell you why this is possible, because I hope that when you understand this concept, when you look at it this way, you will truly understand what the Bible means by submission. So I want you to think of, instead of submission, another S word, surrender, because this is a little bit more appropriate um, a better guideline for what submission means when we're talking about a man and woman in masculine and feminine energy, right? Um, you know, God created us male and female, but he also created these masculine and feminine energies within each of us. And what this means is that within a woman, you have both feminine and masculine qualities. Just like within a man, a man has both masculine and feminine qualities. Our gender is how we dominate. So as a woman, we dominate in our feminine energy. And the best way that you can think about this when it comes to submitting to a partner is again, it's better to use the word surrender instead of submit. This may help you understand this concept a lot better. Is that masculine energy is a container for the feminine. So here's what I mean by this. Within yourself, again, as a woman, you have both masculine energy and feminine energy. Masculine energy is the energy of aggression, of drive, of push, of getting things done. Feminine energy is the energy of nurturing and reception and creativity. So as a woman, your masculine energy is a container for your feminine energy. The structure that masculine energy provides is what allows your creativity, your nurturing ability to flourish. You are naturally a nurturer, you're naturally a caregiver, you are naturally creative, and those things can fuel you in getting ahead in your career and taking care of your children and taking care of your loved ones. The masculine serves as a container for that. So the ambition and drive that is the masculine energy is what allows you to, you know, push forward that creativity. You know, especially if you work in a corporate environment or if you are a business owner like myself, you can definitely relate to this, that as a woman, being able to be creative is amazing and we have a level of creativity that men simply don't however in order for that creativity to be productive there has to be ambition behind it so within a relationship this is no different the masculine energy is a container for feminine energy so what this means is as a woman your partner's job is to provide is to protect and I want to be very clear that when I say your partner's job is to provide I am not necessarily talking money I mean that can be a major part of it but your partner's job is to make sure that you feel emotionally safe that you feel physically safe that you know you have someone who is looking out for you and cherishing you and taking care of you so with that in mind when you feel that way in a relationship, when you feel that a man truly cherishes you and loves you and cares for you, there is not only safety in that, that is, there is freedom in that. That 
freedom allows you to flourish in your ability to be creative, in your ability to be sensual, in your ability to love on your husband. So it is very reciprocal. As a man takes care of you, you become a better wife to him and you take better care of him. But again, this is what submission means. This is not, submission is not blindly following whatever a man tells you to do. <laughs> um, that whole idea is not even biblical. Just just look at the women who are mentioned in the Bible. And because fewer men, fewer women are mentioned in the Bible, because we know the Bible was inspired by God, but written by men, because fewer women, when a woman is mentioned, it is notable. You know, if you look at Sarah and Abram, Sarah was not a wallflower who just sat and stayed quiet. Um, Esther is not a woman who stayed quiet. Um, read the story of David and Abigail, one of my favorite love stories in the Bible. Again, not a woman who sat and stayed quiet. So this does not mean the, the concept of submission, that is, does not mean that you just sit and you know you keep your mouth shut and just whatever your husband says you're like okay sure whatever um, submission means surrendering to be able to receive it means allowing someone to take care of you it is allowing yourself to rest in someone it is not trying to do everything by yourself it is allowing a man to a man feels most like a man when he is able to protect and to provide. So this is what submission means. Submission is putting yourself in a place to be truly, deeply cared for.